How's it going? What's your name? My name's Robert Osborne. Robert, where, where are you from originally? Uh, St. Helens, Oregon, like 30 miles west of here, oh, yeah, west of Portland. Cool yeah. yeah. What, what brought you downtown area? Uh, I've been down here like the last like 15 years, oh, wow. probably on the streets, pretty much all of it. So it's wow, been, you been homeless for that long. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not so much downtown, but more like southeast Portland. Oh yeah. Stuff like that out there. Yeah. Right. But did you grow up with both parents? Uh, yeah, I had both my parents. My dad died when I was like 24 from cancer, and my mom lives out in Beaverton. So. Right. Yeah. Uh, did you grow up? I mean, did you uh, graduate high school? Yeah, yeah, I graduated yeah. high school. Oh, cool, man. Yeah. What, what did you do after that? Uh, started using drugs. <laughs> you didn't? Eh. Who, who got you into that? Uh, actually, it was an injury. Like, I uh, fucked my ankle up, and um, when, I, when, I, when I messed my ankle up, I, uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to cuss, I, uh, I got prescription for pills. And then I got hooked on them, and then that just led one thing to another. So. How'd you mess your ankle up, man? Uh, playing sports in high school. Oh, you did? Well, what, yeah. What did you play? Uh, basketball. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. So then you got hooked on those. Yep. Yep. And then it was after that. It's just been that pretty much ever since. So. I mean, did the doctor just keep giving you prescriptions, or? Uh, yeah, pretty much until they ran out, <laughs> and then so when. Cut you off. Then. And then when they ran out, I. I switched over to the uh, street drugs and stuff because they're cheaper or whatever. So, yeah. yeah. And that, that was over in St. Helens at, at the beginning. Yeah, yeah. Till I was about 19, and then I came out here. I'm 34 now. So, uh, yeah. So, what? Well, uh, did you did you, you got any plans to, for the future? Any <laughs> goals? I'm hoping to actually get into treatment and get like off the streets. Uh, it's just kind of hard. It's kind of hard to get into treatment out here. Like it really is kind of hard when you're on the streets, like waiting periods, and then they want you to go to these detoxes and stuff like that. And they have waiting lists and stuff. So usually like outpatient or inpatient. Or? <clears throat> no, I'll have to go to like an inpatient one. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. So you got to go to detox first. How, how does it work usually? Uh, you'll go to detox for like 10 days, 7 to 10 days, and then uh, after that you'll go to like an inpatient program uh, for anywhere from like 30 days to 6 months. So, what, what, yeah. what would you do after you got a detox? What have you got to plan? Ho hopefully get a job, get a real job, uh, get oh, out of cool. Portland maybe. Oh, that's cool. And yeah, I kind of want to go check out other places, so yeah. I ain't really left this area, so. You still keep in contact with your family? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah. That's cool, I have a younger brother, and uh, we don't talk much, but I still keep in contact with my mom out in Beaverton. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Right on, man. Well, you have any uh, life regrets? Um. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For sure, probably taking pain pills when I uh, got injured back when I was still a teenager. <laughs> Yeah, I wish I wouldn't have took them and just toughed it out, but... That started the whole thing, huh? whole thing, so, yeah. Man. Yeah. So that's good. You have, you have any, uh, any advice or any quotes you want to give anybody? Um... Advice? Don't do drugs? <laughs> yeah. Alright, man. Alright. Well, I really appreciate it. Thanks, man. Yeah.